Shouldn't families be doing this for free? Families are providing hundreds, even thousands of, of you know, of, of hours of, of unpaid care. Um, you know, the, the issue here is should there be the option, you know, that they, that they also get some pay, some recompense, um, you know, for some of the work they do. Uh, let's see if I can make this more real. In uh, states across the country, when public programs try and decide whether you're eligible for and should get home and community-based services, they don't assess your need. They assess your unmet need. So what they do is they look and they see how much help are you getting from your family already, who are stretched out, in some cases almost burnt out, and then how much more do you need? If the family then could take on, in many states they've been a barrier in the past that don't allow the hiring of family members, but if family members somehow could take on this care above and beyond what they were providing already, and it gave them a chance um, in some cases, I, I really have had people like a woman lawyer in, in Arkansas who was able to leave her job for a couple of years to take care of her mother. She's not getting paid very much from this, this, you know, this, this public program and she's providing hundreds of hours of unpaid care. But with this little small amount of extra money, she was able to make a life changing choice that you know, she felt and her mother felt were good for their, what they wanted their lives to be. The option um, for people to be able to pay family members and, and friends is an important element in cash and counseling and in, 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 the, in the work we've done. Um, it's one that's been spreading as an option within Medicaid, within the new class program, the new federal demonstration. It's clearly going to be something that's allowed. There's such a worker shortage right now and even more so in the future that the ability to bring workers, it, people into the workforce who wouldn't otherwise be there is pretty important. But don't just make the assumption people would have been doing this for free and, and forever. Or, or one of the stories I, I think is interesting is in the original cash and counseling demonstration we monitored how many hours of unpaid care people gave. And in New Jersey, even after people could pay family caregivers, the number of unpaid hours went up. <laughs>